this poem is called Shorts. What's on my mind? It's so much that I can't say. I don't even know myself because the truth just lies. I'm so tired of complaining and not getting anywhere. What's a sister to do just to daily get through? To reach a goal with no hidden and heavy holds. Every day I'm barred against. Can someone please send a saint? My mental health has been in jeopardy. And while I know I need therapy, it's not exactly what I see myself as ever being. A broken down doll that lives in the hollowed halls of her broken and unsound mind that so many days I can't find. All I was looking for was a pillow, but it's just too much to swallow. It may seem like it's a lot of spit, but I only want to fit in with the rest of the low class best. Even when I thought I had a hook and the guy turned out to be a crook, I can't get any opportunities because the negative people keep me under tight scrutiny. I've lost my sense of time, but even with my broken mind, I've got this to rhyme because I hope someone will listen. I'm hoping for a blessing. I've been searching for the answer, praying that maybe someone will deliver. And even when I don't contest my diagnosis, people label me because of the prognosis. She won't get better to live a full life. Not knowing how those words cut me like a knife. In truth, I know that living off someone else can put your conscience to the test, but even as I ask myself, what is next? And I want to remove the blocks. Yes, those that have been locked away in my head, like the days I felt I was better off dead. Instead, I focus on that one bright memory of that one day that I felt bravery when I stood up for someone in distress because maybe that was one of the life tests that I needed to pass the class of life. And even though I feel those knives in my back and in my heart, I have to find a way to mend my heart and regain my mental health because that is the true wealth that I continuously seek. And while it seems like I am on repeat. The heat in my body is raging constantly and I can never extinguish it. It's just one of those interesting tidbits about me. A defiled gem, a cloudy diamond, an obtrusely patterned skirt, an uneven hem, a bitter almond, one who sat and ate in the dirt, a broken down doll that lives in the hollowed halls of her broken and unsound mind, one who fits nothing that is defined, yet I defy the norm.